Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing very well. Got my cortisone shot today <laughs> in my shoulder, so hopefully that will help. Um, yeah, so I have an amazing haul for you guys. Uh, this past weekend, there was an estate sale. Uh, it started Saturday. So on Saturday, me, my Aunt Dana, and my daughter went. Um, my Aunt Dana and her husband have a, um, a diesel truck. Uh, so a lot of times if we go out to sales and I see like a large item, uh, she always will um, offer to pick it up in her truck. So when we were at this sale on Saturday, I mentioned during my live sale, that in the basement was this awesome mid-century modern kitchen table with the chrome legs and the cracked ice for mica top in gray. I almost had a heart attack because they were only asking $28 for this table. Now there were no chairs unfortunately, but for now, I could just paint the, my existing chairs, their wood. I could paint them gray and just use them for now until, and hopefully I'll be able to find some that will match. So, uh, we told them we would come back on Sunday to pick up the table. Well, my aunt texts me Saturday night and says when I got home, there was diesel fuel all over the driveway. So something happened to the truck. So uh, my son has a truck, but he's, he's like on the weekends, he's like missing in action. Okay. So my daughter goes, mom, we might be able to fit that table in your car if you put the top down because I have a convertible. I'm like, you know what? We probably could. I never even thought of that. So here I will insert pictures of the actual table. Then I will show you pictures of the table in my car. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. So I'll insert those for you right here. So anyways, we got the table home. It's in my garage and I have to go out and clean it all up and everything. So I was very excited to get that for $28. So on the first day when I went there, I spent $92. And of course, you know, things are higher priced on that day because you're not getting them for half price. But I bought the items because I wanted them and I knew they would be gone the next day when everything was half price. And I'm glad I got what I got the first day because there wasn't a whole, whole lot left when we went back to pick up the table because you know I had to go in and see what all was left for half price. And I bought more on Sunday. I spent another $30 on Sunday. Whew. But I got some amazing things. So let me stop yapping and show you guys what I got. All right, I'm going to start with the, the little bit of linens that I got so that I can take these off the chair and put some of these things on the table on the chair when I'm done. So I got this beautiful set. Now I got this on the half price day. It was a uh, regular $2.50, so I got it for $1.25, and it's just gorgeous. Look at the colors. Beautiful, and the pattern, and it came with the two matching square scarves. These were uh, priced separately instead of as a set. I think these were um, $1.50 each. So I ended up getting 
both of them. Oh yeah, they were, here it is, $1.50. So I ended up getting them both for $1.50. So I got those. Then I got these beautiful uh, dresser scarves. Um, these were $1.50. Now there is some staining on them. Um, I haven't washed them yet, as you could see here. There is a little bit of staining, but it's very faint. Uh, these, this is the edging of it. And it has, you can see, it has these beautiful little daisies. So this was $1.50 and this was not half price. So I got this one and I got this one, which I just love. I'm gonna put this on my um, my little vanity in my bedroom. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. So, um, and you are you're all asking, you know, you want to see my bedroom um, because I re, you know, did a partial redo, but it's not done yet because I haven't had time to finish all the little stuff. So as soon as I'm done, I'll do a little uh, tour of my new bedroom. All right, then I got these half price. These are gorgeous. I just love the color. So I ended up paying a dollar for both. Very pretty. These I got for half price. So I paid $1.50 for both. And they're so cool. They're like on cardboard. I just got them because I love these. <laughs> but I will definitely use these. These are awesome. Oh, I grabbed this for my daughter because she said she really liked it. It was only a quarter. Very pretty. And the first day I got, wait do you guys see this pillow. I only paid $1.50 for this pillow. And a lot of work went into making this pillow. Look at this pillow. Is that not amazing? This is the back. I just love it. And this is gonna go on my bed. It's beautiful, $1.50. Amazing! Ah, all right, so I'm gonna just set this over here for now. Uh, and I might as well show you this beautiful picture. You could see it sitting over there. I paid $4 for this picture the first day. I'm telling you, my buddy Mario, who um, is the company that does these sales, his prices are extremely reasonable. $4 for this picture was a steal. Look at this picture, you guys. Is that not gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Let me see if I can get it close up. Just gorgeous. That's the back. I mean, it's not a real old picture, I don't think. I mean, it does have some age, but I just fell in love with it. So I grabbed that for four bucks. All right. I tried to situate things um, as I bought them on like full price day and half price day, so. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's do the full price stuff first. I got this beautiful, look at this. I'm, a, I'm assuming it's like for a tea bag. It's just beautiful. Just gorgeous. That was uh, two bucks. So I got that. Got this beautiful little dish for 50 cents. Look at this. How pretty is that? It has the beautiful like dove up there. And this is, um, this is uh, Germany. 
I mean, it is just beautiful. $1.50. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. It's so, so pretty. I just love the edge. I, I, I have seen a lot of these and can someone please tell me exactly what they are? Um, I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. And I've seen the ones that do not have the indent here. They're just like flush. And they look like they're like a trivet or something like that. I don't know. There's no maker's mark on it. This was $2. And I think it's just gorgeous. So if anybody knows what they actually use those for, please let me know because I'm very curious. Another piece of gorgeous pink depression glass. This is another uh, divided relish. And it actually matches the big platter that I had in my live sale um, this past Saturday. Beautiful. As you can see, it was $1.50. Okay. So, I almost had detached retina. I'm going to start joining Scott soon. I just sold this exact piece to um, a friend, uh, but it was just the console bowl alone. And it is this green uranium glass console bowl. Okay. It has the beautiful etched leaves and flowers on there, okay? $3, but it also has the matching candle holders. And these were also $3 for the pair. Yep, and they are uranium glass because um, my other one glowed and I'm sure these do too. I should probably go grab my, let me go grab my light. I'll be right back, just cause I like to do it. <laughs> okay, I'm back. All right, so let's see. All right, so these, these don't glow. All right, so those are not uranium glass, but I'm pretty sure this is. Nope. The other one I had was, this one is not. Darn it! No glow, that's no fun. But anyway, I mean, $6 for the set? Wow. So, I got that. And there's no cracks or chips in, any, in anything. I keep checking like the corners and stuff. Oh, wait a minute. I think I just felt a teeny tiny, like a little, maybe a little, like a flea bite. Other than that, perfect, perfect shape. Candle holders too. All right. Um, I had to get this. It was $2. This awesome Christmas um, book. It has all the Christmas carols and look at the, look at the pictures. I'm trying to see if there's, none of them are in color. They're all black and white. Yep, they're all black and white. And this is from, let me see, except for the very first picture which I would love to just frame that, but I don't want to take the book apart. i um, trying to see if there's, okay. There were two copyrights. The second one is MCMXLII. 
I hate Roman numerals. So I got that. <laughs> then I saw this adorable, look at this gorgeous creamer. I mean, you could tell it's hand painted. It was a dollar, you guys, a dollar. And this is from, this is Syracuse, China. I could not believe it. When did you ever see like restaurant wear like that? It's gorgeous. Then I got this little bisque porcelain egg with the hand painted flowers on there. It only has this on the bottom, which is probably the initials of the person that painted it. This was a dollar fifty. And one of my favorite things that I got at this sale is this beautiful creamer and sugar set. Look at these. Are they not stunning? I mean, the camera is just not doing them justice. I paid $5 for the set. There, there's no markings on them. I have no idea who made them, but they're in perfect condition. No cracks, no chips. They're perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. The colors on these are just amazing. Then I saw these really cool uh, vases. These were $2 a piece. Look how, I just love this blown glass with the pretty white mixed in. Look at the, it's so cool, look at that. Gorgeous, $2 a piece. If I went to Goodwill, they probably would have wanted upwards between five and, you know, $8 for these. Now, let me fill you in. The woman that lived here sold Avon. She was an Avon representative and she did it for years because her house was full of Avon awards. You get awards for um, how much you sell. She must have sold a lot and for many, many, many years because there were awards everywhere. And the decanters, millions of Avon decanters. And I just grabbed some of the really cool ones like this one. Never knew they had a chicken or a rooster cologne decanter. This held, oh no, this was for lotion. Moisturizing hand lotion. I mean, let me see, is there any, there's nothing in here, I hope. Oh my God, look at, there is. I don't really smell anything. It's probably like hard as a brick, I don't know. But like, $2. All the decanters were $2. So I got that one. I got this one. Tell me that is not amazing. That is awesome. I got, um, I, I want to save the other ones. Well, okay. And then on the second day, I got these for a dollar. No, this one was regular. This was $2. Look at that. How amazing is that? This was Avon Leather Cologne. Uh, then on day two, I got these for a dollar. I just 
Owls are really in right now, so that's why I grabbed this guy. He's cool. This one had Excalibur cologne in it. Um, this I paid, this was Avon 2, I believe. I'm not sure. This I paid a dollar for. And it is called the Poinsettia Legend. How cool is that? It has the story of the poinsettia on there. It looks like carnival glass. It's gorgeous. And it's dated 1974. Then I got this, which I think this has bath beads in there. Oh my goodness. I did not notice that. Look, <laughs> they're still in there. Oh my God, how cool is that? But I got him for a buck. That is awesome. I didn't notice that. Then I got this one for a dollar. Flying Cloud. That is so cool. Old Spice. Ship's Flask Decanter Aftershave. So that's awesome. Um, okay, so that was it for the Avon decanters. They Those were so cool. My favorite, though, was the foam. That is awesome. All right, let's go back to all the little tchotchkes. Uh, no, hang on, let's show this. Um, also on the first day, I got this very cool beer stein. I just thought like the picture on it was awesome. Um, and it does have something on the bottom. I don't know what it says. It says oven proof. I don't know what the other stuff says, but it's just, why would this need to be oven proof? Can you please tell me that? I don't know. All right. Um, these two little cuties I bought for myself to go with my little collection. I paid $3.50 a piece for these, but I don't care. I'm keeping them. I don't want to drop them. They are in perfect condition. They have all their fingers, their feet, perfect condition. They're adorable. No markings. I'm pretty sure they're probably, you know, Japan. Or maybe Joseph Originals. I don't know. No, they're not. I don't think they're Joseph Originals. I'm pretty sure those are Japan. So those little cuties are mine. Um, this one does have a little teeny chip in the the paint on the back of her hat there. Then I got this adorable, look at this little creamer for 50 cents. It's just beautiful, look at that. Little personal creamer. Got this gorgeous little uh, toothpick holder, I'm assuming. Because I don't think it's, it may hold an egg. I don't know, but I would probably put toothpicks in it. Look how beautiful. Look at the hand painting on that. It's beautiful. Nothing on there. No idea. Then I got this real pretty set of salt and pepper shakers. $1.50. They're not real old, but they're pretty, <laughs> very pretty. Like no paint loss on the gold, gorgeous. Then I got this adorable lusterware rooster or chicken, whatever you wanna call it, uh, egg holder. It was $1 and it's just adorable. I have to find some room to put this somewhere. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, and I have more luster wear. I have these gorgeous set of salt and pepper shakers. Those are the tops. $1.50 you could see for the set. They have their uh, things. That one just fell inside. And uh, it says made in Japan. They are gorgeous. And then I got this little teeny tiny pair for a dollar. Like perfect condition. This one's missing the little cork bottom. And again, you know, Japan. And I got this beautiful little sugar bowl for a dollar. Gorgeous. I was having a blast in that place. I mean, this woman had some beautiful stuff. You know how sometimes you go into some of these sales and the stuff is like, rickety, dirty, you know, th this stuff, everything you could tell was very well taken care of, kept in cabinets and, you know, it was, she really um, took pride in her things, you know. Okay, now, day two, these are the half price items that I picked up when I went back to get my table. Got this beautiful plate for 75 cents. I have no idea who makes it. There's nothing on the back. I just know that it is so, so pretty. It actually matches my bedroom. My bedroom walls are like this color. Gorgeous. Then I got this little cutie. Uh, this is made in Occupied Japan. I paid a dollar fifty for it, and they had this rose. It's like a glass rose was sticking out of here. Um, but look how cute she is. Adorable. Again, no cracks, no chips. Um, let me uh, let me uh, try to find some room. Um, let me set this over here. There we go. All right. I got this for a friend. She knows who she is. This was, uh, $2. It was, that was, it was $4 regular price. I got it for two. Look at that. Mm-hmm. That's the saucer. Let me take this off. So you could see it. Just gorgeous. Delft Blau, hand decorated, made in Holland. She's gonna blow a gasket over that, I know. I got these two lovely girls. They were regular $8. I paid four yesterday. Look at them. They have all their fingers. No, they don't. She's missing her thumb. Darn it. I did not see that. She looks like she's going like this. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> but anyways, other than that, they're in great shape. They have that uh, real hard lace. And these are Halsey. Halsey Fifth. So I got those. Um, I got this guy. He's really cool. He They, they had a lot of like uh, vintage like barware as far as like old bottles and stuff like that old like liquor bottles or whatever but I got this guy because I just thought he was too cool uh Nassau Royale how you doing produce of Bahama Islands 
and I just thought he was really neat. So that would look cool behind somebody's bar next to a bottle of, you know, rum, <laughs> coconut rum. Then I got a couple gorgeous, gorgeous planters. Um, these are made in occupied Japan. Uh, this one was regular $6. I got it for three yesterday. I was glad it was still there. Look at this beautiful planter. No cracks or chips, just beautiful. So I got him and this one, I don't know why it was $5. Oh no, it was cheaper because it's smaller, I guess. I paid $2.50. Uh, this is actually made in, I think it's Czechoslovakia. Look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? gorgeous. So I got those. And the last thing I got at the estate sale has to be like, I, really my favorite. This is just gorgeous. Uh, on day one, uh, it was marked $18. And I said, nah, that's a little too much. So it was there on day two, so I bought it for $9. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous piece of art. Absolutely stunning. Look at that, it's just gorgeous. I love cobalt blue and all those beautiful hues of blue and green and pink. Just amazing. I, uh, there's no markings, uh, so I have no idea who makes this, but whoever did, I mean, it is just beautiful. Look at that. Nine dollars. Yipper gorgeous. So that was everything. And I spent a total of like $120, $122. I think it was between the, uh, the first two days. And that includes the table. So yeah, quite a haul, quite a haul. Um, but I do have, um, a couple things to show you. When we were going uh, back to the house to pick up the table, there's a lady um, down the road. She has um, a yard sale at least twice during the summer. And she was all set up again, so we stopped. And she always has a lot of really old things. They were like her mother's and her mother-in-law's. Unfortunately, most of them are very worn or they have cracks or chips, you know, so I didn't really buy a whole lot, but I did get some really cool things. I think I spent uh, $12 maybe. So I got this really pretty hair receiver. It's made in Austria. Um, I was like surprised that there's no cracks and no chips. So that's why I picked that up. I got this gorgeous plate. I just love the colors. This is um, Noritake. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those colors. Gorgeous. There's the mark. I'm not up on all the marks. Like I know certain colors mean maybe certain years or whatever. I have no clue. Um, so I've never really researched the, the marks. Then I bought this really cool, um, 
like a carnival glass bowl and it has this cool um reminds me of like a crocodile or an alligator skin pattern on there it's very very cool so i got that then i got these two plates um i know that these are kind of popular this is from 1971 father's day 1971 blue uh winter china made in west germany and it's a limited edition series so i got that one and then i got this one this is mother's day 1978 with the mama um chicken and all her little chickadees there and this is another uh, west german yeah that's the back so I grabbed those two. Those are going to be for sale. Mostly everything that I showed you is going to be for sale. However, some things will be for sale in my live sale and some things will be for sale on in my eBay or my Etsy shop. I have to go through and decide, you know, what's going to be what. Um, banks, nobody. No, 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 no. Then I picked up these two domed picture frames. You can see the domed glass. I think you can. Um, this one has the stand and this one just hangs on the wall. It's got the little doohickey there. No, get out of there, don't start. Not the glassware. Excuse me. Thanks. Come on, buddy. Come on over here. Come on. Come sit on Mama's lap. Come here. You want to come and sit with Mom? Yeah, you can't be up there with all the breakables. Here, come sit with Mommy. There we go. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> now I can't reach the stuff. Hi, buddy. Uh, okay, then I got this adorable little, I don't know, toothpick holder, hairpin holder, any kind of holder. <laughs> very, very pretty and dainty. Oh, oh, hang on, guys. <laughs> Hi, buddy. He's like curled up like a baby right now, okay? Hi. What are you look at guys? Hang on. <laughs> oh, um, one of my friends wanted to see my um my uh what do you call them? Trivets that are on my wall. There they are. <laughs> All right, let's put this bag down. Okay. Um, next, I got these two gorgeous. Look at these. Beautiful little bud vases. They're absolutely gorgeous. Once I wash them, oh my God, they are going to glimmer and shine. There's that one and this one. I love the top of this one. Just beautiful. Gorgeous. Then I got this. This is Nippon. Look at this. Beautiful bud vase, hand painted. There's the mark. Absolutely beautiful. And the last thing is the Anchor Hawking Moonstone pattern. It's this little trinket dish shaped like a fan. It was a dollar. 
and this goes with my set that I have in my bedroom. Um, I'm thinking of uh, rearranging all of that. That I that's why I haven't um, showed you guys my room yet because it's not it's not completed. I still have some, you know, last minute. You know, you know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, like. I'm still kind of like decorating and stuff like that. So, and I still have to finish painting the door jam and all that fun stuff. But it will get done eventually and I will make sure I show everybody. So anyways, uh, that is going to do it for this awesome estate sale. I mean, I think I got a lot of like quality, gorgeous stuff for my money. And I know that I can make enough money back to cover what I bought and hopefully with, you know, profit. Um, I don't know because I have to do a lot of research on some of these things. So uh, we'll see, you know, what happens. But uh, I absolutely will probably um, double my money. So, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Just a reminder, I have no live sale this coming Saturday because it's the 4th of July and we have plans to go to my aunt and uncle's house for the day and party and eat and have a good time. So, uh, but I will be back the following Saturday, which I think is the, uh, blah, 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 the 11th. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, so everybody, love you guys. I will be coming back with a craft video. I am going to get this completed, this craft that I've been talking about. And I think um, I will also attach to that, I have some friend mail here that I've had and I just haven't had time to do a video um, with the haul because it would have been way too long. So I'm going to try to do the craft video and the friend mail video together. All right, everybody, that's going to do it. Please take care of yourselves. Uh, be safe, and I'll see you really soon. Bye for now.